Getting familiar with the new Hopper remote. At DISH, we believe watching TV should be simple. That's why we created the new Hopper remote, featuring fewer buttons and intuitive commands. In this video, I'll walk you through the buttons and functions on your remote. We'll start at the top and work our way to the bottom. Let's get started. At the top of the remote, you will notice two uniquely shaped power buttons. The top left button turns your hopper on and off, while the top right button turns your television on and off. Below the power buttons is a row of four buttons. The first button from the left is the home button. Pressing home brings you to the home screen. To the right of the home button is the apps button, which will show you the app screen. To the right of the apps button is DVR. The DVR button can be identified by its raised left and right sides and is used to access the DVR menu. Rounding out this row is the guide button. The guide button opens the programming guide and defaults to show all channels you're subscribed to. Below home, apps, DVR, and guide is a second row of four indented buttons. The first button in that row is the back button, which is used to go back one step or cancel on-screen menus. Press and hold the back button to return to the last live TV channel you are watching. The second button in this row is the options button. Pressing the options button once will bring up the options for the current screen. Double clicking the options button will call up the accessibility banner. This banner gives you easy access to closed captioning, audio description, magnification, and text to speech. The third button in this indented row is the program info button. Pressing this button will bring up the program info card. Press and hold the info button to get tips and tricks wherever you are in the hopper menus. The final button on the far right of this row is the search button. Pressing the search button brings you to DISH integrated text search with on-screen keyboard. As you move down the remote, you encounter a large square directional pad or D-pad. The D-pad slopes inward from the edges. The middle section of the D-pad is the select button. The outside of the D-pad moves the highlight in the corresponding direction, up, down, left, and right. Pushing right during a live TV event accesses the mini guide, which displays the current program and the next two programs on that same channel. Below the D-pad are three content control buttons. The leftmost button is a skip back button. Press this button to skip back 10 seconds in the program and press and hold it to rewind. The middle button on this row is the pause play button. While watching content, press this button once to pause and again to resume play. The right button on this row is a skip forward, fast forward button. Press this button once to skip forward 30 seconds and press and hold to fast forward. Below that row on the left is the volume rocker, which controls the TV volume. Press the top of the rocker button to raise the volume and the bottom of the rocker to lower it. To the right of the volume rocker are two buttons. The top is the recall button. This button allows you to go back to the previously viewed channels. And below recall is the mute button. The mute button has raised sides. Pressing this button will toggle volume on and off. To the right of the mute and recall buttons is the channel rocker. Press the top of this button to go to the next channel in the guide. And press the bottom of the rocker to go to the previous channel in the guide. Below the volume and channel rockers are four rows of three buttons that make up the standard number pad, one through nine. The middle indented button is the five button, and the rest of the numbers follow the standard placement around the five button. On the very last row of your remote, the lowest and farthest left button is the backspace button. The lowest middle button is the zero button, and the lowest and farthest right button is the enter button. This completes the buttons on the front of the remote control. Along with the front buttons, there are four buttons running vertically down the left-hand side of the remote. In order from top to bottom, these buttons are SAT, TV, AUX, and INPUT. When pressed, they change the equipment that is controlled by the remote. I hope this video has helped you become more comfortable with your new Hopper remote. If you have any questions, please visit mydish.com accessibility or call 1-800-333-3474.